my favorite landscape pictures are really big ones, ultra wide views that make you feel like you're part of the scenery. And this beautiful horseshoe shape as the river meanders through here is a great example that coupled with our elevation means we've got a really great view of it. But what do you do when your camera phone can't grab the whole thing in one frame? So this frame in front of us is this gorgeous kind of meandering horseshoe as the river comes down from the hills and then takes this ultra huge, turns 180 degrees as it heads out to the sea. But as I frame up here, my phone does not catch the whole thing at once. I can see that we're trimming off both banks uh, of the river and it really compromises how big, how wide this scene is. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do here. Thing one would be to use a phone that has an ultra wide angle lens, which this doesn't have, but that would obviously solve the problem by itself. The other possibility would be moving backwards a little bit, but I'm at the bottom of quite a steep hill here. So as I move backwards, I also change my altitude. I change my elevation and that completely changes the composition. And one thing that I'm interested in catching here, there's a path just down here and I'd really like to get this landscape with a couple of people, dog walkers or something, walking along it to give us a sense of scale and perspective and a bit of movement maybe. The final option that I have is this ingenious clip-on ultra-wide angle lens which I can just attach to the front of my camera just like that. So as I turn back into my frame here, We've added loads of field of view. I can now see both banks of the river at once without having to move backwards into the scenery or move anywhere at all. And so from there, this becomes a really simple image. It's just a case of leveling up my horizon. Luckily, I have this little handy yellow spirit level in the middle of my frame here. It changes color once I'm flush with the horizon. I'm gonna see, I like these people kind of playing with their dogs down on the bottom there. So I'm going to make sure that we include them. And I'm just going to experiment kind of up and down, try and get the sky sort of as big as I can possibly get it, try and treat that as a real element all by itself. Just make sure that my lens is central to my frame there. And then I really like all of these kind of wispy clouds up in the top as well. I think there's lots of really nice elements here that are going to produce a really cool looking image. So we're gonna take a couple of those and I'm gonna see which ones I like best. This image is an obvious non-starter. It's a really good example of what happens when the lens you're using just isn't wide enough to do justice to the scene in front of you. You can see that instead of having both banks of this wonderful horseshoe shaped river as it meanders through the countryside, you've just got nothing in there at all. You don't get a sense of where it's going. So this is one for the bin, I'm afraid. For this image, I attached the ultra wide angle clip on lens. And as you can see, it's made a huge difference in terms of the field of view. We now have both banks of the river in there and you get a much better sense of scale. There's other stuff that I like about this frame as well. I like how much sky there is in the image. I think that that makes it look really striking. The composition looks good. I like this little horseshoe shaped kind of island of land in the middle of there. It could do, I think, with a little bit of scale, maybe a person or something to contextualize it, give you a sense of just how big it actually is. But all in all, this is a frame that I like. For this image, I tilted the phone down just ever so slightly and included this little path through the frame down at the bottom. Now, I think that the path with no one on it is a kind of unnecessary distraction, but I really like these people walking through. It gives you a sense of how people interact with this environment, what the scale of the place is um, and how the, how the place is used. I think it's a really nice little addition, a nice little compositional touch. And so that including, or in addition to having these extra, this extra bit of width, this extra landscape in there, I think makes this a really cool looking frame.